Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna share with you seven surprising skills that will set you apart as a data analyst in 2025. Number one is storytelling with data. You should be able to share your findings and reporting to non-technical people. Don't expect that you will be always working with people that can understand code or understand complex statistics. You should be able to always simplify to people that are non-technical. Whether it's a stakeholder, it's a client, or working with your team, you should always find ways to simplify your findings and the best way to do it is via storytelling with data. There should always be like a narrative to your analysis. Start with a question, a hypothesis, and your analysis should answer those in a very nice way with some text, descriptions, and also some graphs and visuals that can explain even deeper for non-technical people by just seeing a nice graph they can quickly understand what's going on instead of just showing some code or just showing some text. Number two is business acumen and you need to understand the business you operate in and the industry you operate in. One of the things that helped me as a consultant data scientist is to work in various industries because I worked with various clients. I ended up working in finance, in recruitment, in SaaS, in technology, in sales so many different industries and I had to go and learn about what's going on in each and every one of those industries in order for me to perform well in them. Because you can't just come with your technical expertise and just assume that you're gonna deliver business value because you need to understand the context and the best way to do it is always stay up to date and look at the trends, what's going on so that your work can be valuable for the business. Number three is time management. A lot of people overlook this, but time management is so important as a data analyst. You will juggle between multiple projects, multiple reports, multiple analysis. Sometimes you have to do them all at once. So how do you prioritize? Where do you start? Are you multitasking, going back and forth between reports? It's very important for you to define the best way for you to work and then operate that way. Don't let other people put their own schedule onto you. You need to have yours and you need to know how to prioritize things in order for you to deliver the best results. One tip that I usually do, I always keep the most challenging and most demanding task or project in the morning so that I am still able to focus fully and deliver the best results. And in the afternoon, I keep things that are a little bit lighter overall so that I still work on them, but it doesn't require from me that much focus as I did in the morning. Because like it or not, we can't think and operate 100% eight hours a day. We can do three, four hours. So it's best to use it on the most complex things first thing in the morning and then do the rest afterwards. Number four is knowledge in basic UX and UI design. It's very important. You're not there to build websites, even though you could potentially build some landing pages and do some cool things with libraries like Streamlit and you know just create some interactive visuals that you can share on the web. But having a basic understanding of UX and UI will help you create dashboards and reports that are very pleasant to see. Your work is not to be a designer per se, but it's always nicer when you deliver something that looks beautiful. Everyone will like it and people will want more from it. So there is nothing to lose by going and learning a few cool things about UI, UX and designing so that you can incorporate them as a data analyst. If you're enjoying the video so far, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me immensely. And if you have any questions or any of these topics, just leave them in the comment section. I make sure to answer all of them. Thank you for doing it. Number five is collaboration skills. That's something that you will learn throughout your journey is that you can't do everything just by yourself. It's always important to learn to collaborate with others. You'll have to collaborate with data engineers to get the data. You'll have to collaborate with non-technical people, with your manager, with your colleagues and so many different people they will have to collaborate with. So it's always good to sharpen your communication skill, be available for others, be generally nice and being helpful to others will always come a long way because if you're nice and helpful, then other people will usually reciprocate. So just be nice, learn to collaborate, make it easy for others. If you work on a code together with someone, just make sure to comment, document, send short videos like loop videos to your partner and your colleagues. It makes it easier for everyone to understand what's going on and to make the right adjustments for the project. Number six is ethics in data. A lot of people don't talk about it, but it's very important to be ethical with the data that you use. Data privacy, data security are such important topics that not many people talk about. 
the data sets that you use from your company, they need to be secured. You need to also make sure that you don't share it with everyone. You need to share it with specific people that have a specific need with your report or your analysis. So always make sure to think about data privacy, data security, and only make sure that you give the data and relevant information for people that need it and that are allowed to access that data. Number seven is cloud platforms. Familiarity with AWS, Azure, GCP and others is very important these days. A lot of companies leverage the cloud and it's important for you to learn how to work in those environments. So if your company uses Azure, go and learn how to use Azure. If they use AWS, then go do the same. You can still do the same things as you do with Python in notebooks or whatever you use, but inside the cloud. It's always good to have a good understanding on how things work in production and not just in your own environment. If you're interested in five free online courses from top universities such as Harvard and MIT, I made a video just here showing you exactly how to access them and learn some concepts that will help you upskill as a data analyst. Thank you for watching.